It's a beautiful autumn afternoon along the Humber River in a Tien Brule Park in Toronto. At first glance, you wouldn't notice anything out of the ordinary, just another walk in the park. But if you look a little closer, you'll notice there's something in the water. There are stones, stacked one on top of the other, rising up out of the riverbed, some in configurations that appear to defy gravity. The artist responsible is Peter Riedel, and his discipline is known as rock balancing. I'd seen this guy in English Bay in Vancouver years ago and was fascinated by the rock balancing he was doing. It was a uh, very rounded stone given to that shoreline. What was fascinating is that he built them on the shoreline and the tide would come in at certain times of the week really high, just completely bury in water the stone structure and then it would recede and it would just still be standing there magically. It's just fascinating to look at. It's for me, it's escapism. It becomes an obsession. I, I don't stop and look at the one rock. I finish one, I don't stand back and admire it. I just, I, I move on to the next one. It's uh, becomes an obsession here. It's um, a lot of momentum moving from one to the other, but I completely tune out. I, I really tune out. I'm, I'm aware of the white, white noise of the falls and the wind. And, uh, you know, at times, for instance, in this location, I've looked up and on a nice sunny Sunday afternoon, there's 30, 40 people just standing there looking. You know, if I'm closer to this side, they do, I get the golf claps. Riedel is making a splash beyond the parks and rivers of Toronto. His balancing act has garnered a considerable amount of press coverage. His greatest admirers, however, are the people who see his work firsthand, the local residents. I live in the neighborhood and I come and look at these all the time. It gives me a lot of joy and peace and excitement all at the same time. And I think he's just amazing. He's such an artist. It's relaxing and it's also sort of adventuresome because how can he do this? Just fascinating to me. Coupled with the waves and the sunshine, it's just lovely. But it's beautiful. I think. And it's natural and then it, it naturally falls down and then he builds it up again. So that's, that's cool. I think the fleeting aspect of them, the impermanence of them is, is, uh, is a real attraction for me. It kind of counters traditional art, which is permanent inside walls in a museum for the most part. But I think the fact that of their impermanence, it's over time that I realize kind of more and more the symbolism of that the impermanence of everything. Even though we measure it against our own lives, things seem long, but really anything really, is, it's just a blink of an eye. It's, it's all impermanent. Riedel's structures are not completely impermanent. He does manage to preserve his stonework through another artistic discipline, photography. He recently showcased his photo collection at Bangkok Gardens in Toronto. I lived down by the lake and I was walking along uh, a trail and I came upon his sculptures, totally unexpected. They were just so amazing and I was just totally taken by them. And, uh, you know, I asked him what he did and he told me he was a photographer and I took a bunch of pictures and uh, I said to him, if I go speak to my higher powers and I can create or organize something, would you be interested? And uh, he said, yeah, why not? I said, well, do you, have you done anything with these before or that? And he goes, no, not really. He goes, I'm not very good at self-promotion. And So I told him he needs an agent. When you look at the work, the, the physical work, as well as the prints, the photographs, it just sort of evokes that zen type feeling. I arrived in Toronto. I'd never been here before, uh, but I uh, had come out of a really heavy time. Um, back to Canada from Atlanta and uh, so it just it just basically went from there you know it was I used to do it four to four to six hours two three times a week uh, and it was really just to stave off some heavy depression uh, form of escapism uh, for me so it was really therapeutic it, it didn't start out of anything fun. It started out of tragedy, really, you know.
So I got here around two o'clock, so about four hours. This window series can be really symbolic. Everyone can interpret it in their own way, looking through that window uh, into whatever lay ahead. And uh, a throwback in time or a look into the future. Again, I, you know, I interpret it my own personal way and everyone else will do it theirs. I spend a good part of the week in traffic. I'm all over the city doing uh, real estate photography, wedding photography. It's a lot of time in traffic, a lot of time dealing with road construction and gridlock and detours. So to come here after dealing with uh, 400 series highways or local roads is a pure escape. This is what fixes my stress. Yeah, absolutely. I guess the most popular question is, um, do I use glue? That would take a lot of time. I would be cheating, but they don't last. A few weeks, the elements, rain, wind, snow, ice. For me, it's, a, it's become an interesting combination of a real, of a workout, a good physical workout, lifting some of this stone and is a, is a real test on the back and on the arms. At the same time, I used to run a lot, you know, and you get into that zone about 20 minutes or whatever, this is the same thing. So whether it's yoga or meditation for some people, running, walking, this is it for me, I found it. <laughs> whether it's stacking, balancing, heavy lifting, taking photos, or even lighting fires, Peter Riedel is in every sense of the word an artist. His passion for rock balancing has introduced many Torontonians to the world of landscape art. For Riedel, it's become more than a creative outlet. It's a meditation, a lifestyle. That's really become, yeah, a strong factor, knowing that probably tomorrow they'll be, they'll be gone. For me, it creates a clean slate. If these stayed permanent, I'd come back after a few weeks and run out of rock, run out of space, and eventually run out of shoreline in the city. Just that fact is really appealing to me, that impermanent factor that for a short season they're there, and then gone. Appreciate them while they're there. Appreciate the beauty while it's there. <laughs>